Today we are making a short video, but it's going to be the first part of free. So in this one, we are going to make a super simple kind of like free split reel. You've seen those all over Instagram, all over TikTok probably as well, where you just like split the vertical format into free and that way you can kind of use the horizontal space as well. So in this video, I just wanted to show you quickly how you do that in part two. I'm going to show you how you can do kind of the same thing, but we're going to continue from this reel and then we're going to make it scroll. And then in the last one, we're going to go a step more advanced and we are going to make it scroll, but with some masking that goes through kind of different stages of, in this case, color grading, but it could be anything. So in this one, we're just going to do the free split reel. And if you still don't know what I'm talking about, this is an example of what we're going to do today. All right, so without much further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. But before we do, this can be done in Premiere Pro, in Final Cut, whatever you want to do. And the free split thing that we're going to use today, the transparent PNG, I've actually made a link down in the description where you can download those for free. They are for five split and for free split, and they are in black and white, and they're both for 1080p and 4K. Completely free. I just wanted to give you those as well. If you want to do it, it's going to be much quicker and much easier. So we're going to use that in this one. You can see how it works. And then if you want them for yourself, you can click in the description and you can find the link. So that's just what I wanted to say as well. Let's jump into DaVinci and get started. Alrighty guys, so you can see that we already have a timeline here. And the only reason we have that is because I wanted to cut the music that I found on Artlist. Usually I would use a song from Instagram, but because of copyright claims and all that stuff, can't do that. Luckily we have Artlist. So I just have the song from Artlist down here and I've made it so that it can be repeated. You can hear how that sounds if we go to the end. All right, so that's just a simple way of making it loop. It's not really important for the reel that we're doing now, but for part two, where we're gonna make them scroll through, it's gonna be an important step. So right now I've just made this timeline also because I wanted to color grade this clip to skip that process later on. So let's just make a new timeline. I'm not gonna use the project settings for this one. I'm gonna call this real because that's what I'll usually be doing. 1080 pi 1920 and the other way around right now is what we're using. We'll just click the vertical resolution. If you don't have this button, you can update your DaVinci and you will. Otherwise you can just switch these two customized to 1080 by 1920. I'll do 30 frames because that's what my footage is shot in. You do whatever you want, but this obviously works best for Instagram. I have a video on that if you haven't seen that yet. Create the timeline. And now we got our vertical timeline that we're gonna use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna to switch to the color grade one. Just gonna copy the clip, Command C, switch to the other one, Command click here, Command V. And now we have our song. All right, so now that we have the music in, then let's just drag in some clips. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag on this black bar and we're gonna drag it to video four. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm holding down option and then just scrolling, clicking shift C to zoom all the way out to, the, to everything we have in the timeline right now. And now you can't really see that this is uh, previewed because the background is black right now, but it's there. We have three lines or two lines across, splitting it into three. And let's just put the first clip in and because I want that to be the middle clip. Let's see if it fits the way that I cropped it. It does not. So we're just going to drag it in. And now you can see that it's in the middle. So we're just going to scale it up until 1.06. And the only reason I know that is because I've done that a million times. But what you will see in a second is that it fits perfectly in between the black lines. And you can just scale it up and down. So if we just scale it further up, you will see that now the lines are splitting it. So if we scale it back down, you can see now it fits perfectly within and that's 1.06. So that's just the way that I've found out doing this a lot of times. Let's drag in our second clip. I want that to be this one. I've already marked an endpoint, So let's just drag it onto the timeline and cut it in the end and just go in here, scale that up to 1.06 as well, and then start pushing it up at the Y axis, like so, to see where it fits perfectly up here. Usually, I think that's around 2025, so let's see if that fits. It does look like it does, so if we go below, we go below the line, and otherwise the black line will be too thick. 
So I think 2025 is perfect. This is a 1080p resolution, so I'm not sure if it's the same if you decide to do it in 4K. I would recommend just doing it in 1080, but if contrary to that, you do something else, I'm not sure you can use these, but you can just push it up and down and see what fits. So let's take this last clip, that is me walking, and put it on the bottom. And now we won't be able to see it. I'm just gonna cut it as the other ones. I'm using A as a shortcut to cut. I'm gonna scale that up as well. And because we've already said the top clip is 2025 and we already scaled both, we can actually just go into this one and say negative 2025 and that will just put it perfectly into our timeline. So if we drag down our timeline here again and zoom in a little bit, this is what we're working with now. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And in terms of color grading, I'm just gonna put on my grades. So that's actually why I had my other color grading one here because I wanted to save us some time. I'm just gonna put the clips on here, click on this clip, Command C, switch timeline again to the real, and then just copy paste this onto these. So that's just to save us some time. If you wanna see how I color grade, I have other videos on that. So let's not waste time on that. But essentially, that is what I'm doing. So this is how you can split a reel into three. I think that looks pretty cool. So that's how you can very easily, very quickly split a reel or a TikTok into three in the vertical format. Do it like that, it's super easy. I know a lot of other people go in and uh, export it or put it into another timeline and use that timeline and export it and all that kind of great stuff. I found that this is the easiest way for me. And I said, you can download these split screen kind of things that I've done for free on my website. There's a link in the description. You can just easily download those. And that makes it easy to just scale in the clips. If you want one where I'm splitting into five, you can just tell me down in the comments and I'll be happy to make that as well. It's very similar. The only kind of difference is that I'm cropping a little bit because when you do it in five, you will have a more narrow frame for each clip, which means that there's not as much space and then you have to crop the clips a little bit. So that's super easy to do as well. And you have the crop tab in the, in the right side of the inspector. So you can also just figure that out for yourself if you want that. So. This was the first part. If you check out my channel, if it's not up already, it'll be up very soon, within a day. The second part where we are gonna use the same reel that we've just made now, but we're gonna make it scroll. So we're gonna add an additional clip and I'm gonna show you how you can make the clip scroll through. And that's also why we cut the audio the way that we did in the beginning so that it can just play through in a loop and you won't even notice that it's continuing to play through. So stay tuned for that video jump onto that one. If it's up already, you can see it on the screen here in a second. And otherwise, keep an eye out. Make sure to subscribe and like. That helps out a ton. And ask Airway if you have any questions in the comments. I'm always happy to help. So until the next time, take care.